tell us about what is it like to be a Salesforce developer in India? Like, what are the hours like? Is it difficult to get a Salesforce developer job? Mm, if you are a fresher, uh, then uh, it might be difficult for you uh, to get a Salesforce uh, job because as a fresher, uh, you don't know how the Salesforce functions and what are all the uh, functionalities, what are the various areas where Salesforce can work for. Uh, but here in India, what happens is if you, as a fresher, if you are going for a job, what, what they usually do is uh, they try to ask you everything. Like uh, they're kind of uh, looking for a Robinhood developer, uh, where if you are a tree of an apple, you should be having the fruits for uh, uh, papaya, you should be having the fruits for mango as well. So uh, it's kind of hard for the, peop uh, for the people who are uh, fresher at a fresher level to get a job. But once they do get a job, uh, they can easily switch their job because now they have got a path and then they are only working for Salesforce. But in India, when you talk about Salesforce admin, so there is uh, no one who, is, who can say that they are Salesforce admin. No one in uh, India, no, no Salesforce admins in India, yeah? <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, if you are, even if you are an admin, you have to do the development work, you have to do the deployment, you have to talk to the clients, take the requirements and uh, design the op design all the object structures and if there is anything comes up or additional thing that you need then again go back to the client so all kind of things that you have to do i think uh, at one point it is not good but once you get into industry that is very good for anyone uh, because in a, in a career level that is definitely going to help uh, everyone yeah yeah that's, a, that's tremendous expectations from a salesforce professional that they just a uh, swiss um, knife yes Robin Hood developer, as you call it. That's that's why I think American companies want to bring in developers from India because the limitless uh, talent. Yeah, they, they, even of, even what the, they can do. even the even the working hours like uh, there is uh, uh, on paper it is nine to six. Uh, sometimes it is eleven to nine. Uh, sometimes it is twelve to one. Uh, based on the shift uh, like UK, US, or uh, Indian shift, but uh, uh, that is only on on paper. Uh, you might need to work from nine to six, or you might need to work on nine to nine. Sometimes you need to work on full time, and uh, sometimes you are doing a dinner and your thing, uh, phone rings and you got a call from your boss. You have to work, uh, leave that uh, meal in the middle. So uh, that's really? kind of life a developer l live in here in India. And uh, I don't know like when or uh, who was the person who set this up for uh, the foreign clients, like for the US people, UK people, like that Indian people can work anytime. That kind of system that I had the most in India, because if you have the working hours, uh, you should be working on only those working hours because the rest is your personal life. You can do anything, whatever you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But most so, of the companies in India does the same, or does follow the same process where they do. give you on paper working hours, but those are just for the on papers. For, for. And there is reality working hours. Yes. So in reality, how how many are how, what is it like nine to eight or something on average? Nine to. Uh, most of the time, it completely depends on the projects. Uh, but if you are working on nine to six, then you can say that uh, you must need to stretch nine to eight, um, at least two hours. Really? Uh, you, you will <laughs> definitely go hours? nine to eight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh, definitely you have to do. No, no matter uh, if you have uh, ample number of work, you are overloaded with the work. Uh, th that doesn't matter. You must need to uh, stay there at least to us. The reason is that US people don't get into the call early their morning. They only come at 9 a.m. or 9.30 a.m. And uh, for that, we have to wait. We cannot say that uh, you have to uh, take a call within our working time. We, we cannot say with that because they, those are the clients and those are uh, those are paying us. Uh, and uh, then after we are getting our salary. So we have to stay there for minimum two hours. And then after, if there is anything which is urgent that comes up, then uh, you cannot uh, go anywhere from your seat. You have to do that work and then go to your home. Or if you're going to your home, then turn your laptop on in your home and then do that work. So let's say you are, you're working 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and then you have to get home and then just have a little time left for dinner and your personal projects yeah so uh, I, I basically work on a timing which is uh, 1 30 to 9 uh -huh. so uh, mine is kind of uh, 
overlapping some us shift where uh, we do have a call with the us people and then uh, we hand over what we have done and, and then they are working luckily in this project i don't have to do any single minute work uh, uh, overtime work because um, the lead that we the on site lead that we have is he is very uh, restrict about the uh, working hours if your working hours are 11 to 9 then you don't need to even be online at 91 mm -hmm. so that that's good for me and all the rest of the team who are working with me uh, but most of the time yes most of, you had to work earlier um, in my earlier project i was doing the same i i had to work till 10 pm and th that was the bare minimum i had to work every night 9 am till 10 pm uh yes wow and there is no overtime pay right it's just pay yes that's the funny part you will only get to pay for 9 to 6 <laughs> that's the funny part or the sad part <laughs> uh, that, i i can say that's the funny part because uh, you, uh, you can't do anything if you are sad <laughs> you have to be okay <laughs> take it as a learning opportunity eh? extra 3 hours to learn salesforce yeah definitely <laughs> Wow. Amazing Indian developers. Yeah. Oh. I And can say Indian developers are equipped equip with superpower uh, because they are doing the work of 3 to 4 uh, US people because yeah. in the US you have uh, Salesforce admin, developer, BA, then they have Salesforce testers. So yeah. most of the time our Indian developers do uh, their own work till deployment. Even after deployment they also provide the post deployment support for really? some time. Wow. all in one <laughs> yeah package 